welcome to the coolest tutorial of python and i'm sure you are doing well and i will pray for your good health so that you can learn things easily on this channel called bitfumes with me sarthak in this episode we are going to learn about two important modules the standard modules or you can say inbuilt modules which is called dir and os and among that os is super super cool so i'm very excited for that but before let's just see the dir so you can see i have this import of fibonacci module from here we have created in the last episode and i am importing fib function from this fibonacci module that's okay so let's just let's just delete this print and i'm going to say print dir so let's see what will be the result if i run it you can see it lists all the variable all the module package whatever you have used in this particular file and just list that so some of these variables are here and you can see we have imported this function which is fib and that is included here but if i import the whole module so i will say import fibonacci and run it you can see even that the module name is here so one thing more i can say i will say def abc that means i'm defining a uh, function and i will just return zero for now i just it just doesn't matter so let's run it once more and you can see abc is also there but what this name and all these things are here so actually this name let's take this example only so i will just going to print this name so i will say print name so you can see this name is actually printing this underscore underscore main underscore underscore so whatever is the module name it will just give so actually we are on this main dot py file that's why it's giving main here but if i go to this fibonacci and try to print that you will see it's saying yeah we are on fibonacci but it is imported in main so if i go here and just comment this out and run this fibonacci only yeah fibonacci is just here which is because we have imported it here every time python interpreter runs any program it will just find the main program which is here and then it will execute the things so because if we don't include this fibonacci here and try to run fibonacci yeah we can see we are not getting anything because it is not called in main or actually we can say the main function is not doing anything so that's the main point of import whenever we are importing we are saying that okay now this module is a part of main so if i run this even though we have not called anything from fibonacci but because we have given the print function and now fibonacci is a part of main that print statement is executed so this is all about the dir it just uh, giving you the information of the modules functions of every, anything you have used but the great important function which i'm going to tell you is os it is super cool why because it is now connected to your operating system i am using mac so it doesn't matter but let me show you one thing so if i say os dot cpu count so it will just give you how many cpu you have on your system so if i run it yeah i have four cpu on my uh, mac so that's okay so next is dot path so if i run it yeah it will say the this particular uh, program is on this path so that's again great thing and next is mkdir or let's just see get login so it will just give you the information of the user id of your machine so i'm talking about the mkdir make directory so i think you're familiar with this command make directory so let's create a directory called uh, fibonacci okay and i'm just going to create this so i have given a string in this make dir or mkdir function and let's just run it 
and instantly you can see we have a new directory called Fibonacci and this is because we have used this OS module in our main function and, and that's super easy and you know you can delete this just by saying rmdir remove directory so run it and you have deleted that super easy but this is not even limited to that particular uh, directory or the folder where you are working it can be your absolute path so what i will do i will open the terminal and here this is just the user and I will say print working directory so it will give me the path of this directory and now in this directory you can see we don't have any uh, Fibonacci uh, folder or directory so let's give the path then slash Fibonacci okay run it and let's just open this so I think I have to run it first. Okay, we have some problem. It says, okay, it says we can't delete any file, any directory which is not even available. So let's make directory. And yeah, that's good. So list the files and you can instantly compare before we don't have any Fibonacci, but now we have the Fibonacci directory in this path and which is actually the absolute path of my uh, user directory. And if you have Windows, you can just give the C colon and whatever it is. And again, we can remove this because this time we have this Fibonacci directory and if I run it, no error is there. And then now if I run LS, yeah, that Fibonacci directory is not available. So this is very interactive and very useful when you are dealing with something you have on your uh, operating system, like you want to play something or play a movie or MP3 file, or you want to fetch any, uh, file particularly from your directory so that's very nice and you can use it so this is the way there are tons of uh, built-in libraries there you can just go to python doc dot python dot org slash three and not on the tutorial on the global module index you can find all the modules here which we will maybe use because these are super super collection of the module so we will not be able to use a lot of things in this short tutorial so these two are just for the example and you can just play with these list and make your python journey interactive and very cool so if you have liked this episode share these videos with your friends and if you have not subscribed go and subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to get instant notification and like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye